What do you have for us today? Uh, a genuine space nugget, uh, or meteorite as most people would call it. But in the professional line of business, it's, it's a space nugget. Those who know, know. Yes. <laughs> Where's this one from? Um, I'm tasting a hint of the Scandinavian, northern Scandinavian region. Uh, maybe uh, Sweden. <laughs> and uh, what is uh, the estimated value of this chunk? Um, I don't have to give you the estimated value because this was actually purchased. <laughs> For? 10,000 Gs. We think that that makes this the most expensive thing we've cut or will have cut. In the past, we've cut a Desert Tech rifle that was valued at like six or 7,000. We cut a gold bar with Cody from Cody's Lab. At the time we cut it, it was about $2,000. And even at today's prices, it would only be worth about four or $5,000. So I think this does make the most expensive thing we've ever cut. Unless I'm forgetting something, let me know. I was going a touch slower than I needed to because we actually cut one of our slats in half. Whoops. Let's take a sneak peek. And that's smoother than I thought it was gonna be for how thick it is. Not bad. It's nice and toasty. Around the edges you can kind of see the weird crystal-like structure the meteorite and then when you etch it it brings that pattern out in the whole surface i think we got to clean up how flat that is maybe sand it down a bit okay this is pre sanding post sanding mm. it's like one of those cooking shows where they have it already done and here's what it looks like. <laughs> this, we started at 40 grit, went all the way up to 400. And even after sanding, you can see more of that crystal structure going around it. But what really brings it out is... Well, it's tripping on acid. <laughs> tripping on acid. <laughs> there is something in the bucket. I know it looks empty, but I don't know how long. I, I think we'll just leave it there for 30 seconds-ish. And I want a deep etch, maybe a little longer. At least 20. Let's leave it in there for a few hours and see what happens. There won't be any meteorite <laughs> left then. And... It's got a weird dark spot in it. But it looks cool. It's got these weird little spots in it which are just like... Some different... There's more concentrated deposits of nickel or something. We'll call them impurities. No, definitely... Nickel, do you happen to know what this is made out of? Uh, I'm glad you asked, Dan. Because earlier you sent me a thing you wanted me to read and said, don't look at it. <laughs> it's 8.4% nickel and trace amounts of rare elements. 0 0.033 parts per million of gallium, 0.133 parts per million germanium, and 1.6 parts per million iridium. It also contains the minerals chromite, dabrelite, schreibosite, achingenite, and inclusions of troilite. Another fun fact, this design right here cannot be faked. Nobody has figured out how to create or mimic that type of grain structure. I could probably print it out on a piece of paper. Now on to part two. Speaking of things, we need to have a real talk, guys. It's come to my attention that some of you have not yet purchased Raycons, and that needs to change. Oh. Raycon earbuds start about half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. They have an impressive six hours of playtime, a range of fun colors and patterns, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a compact design with a variety of fit options for a comfortable, noise-isolating fit with no dangling wires or stems. <laughs> Raycon was originally co-founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and J.R. Smith are obsessed with Raycons. And it's no wonder, with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a nice noise-isolating fit that won't quit. Ooh, that's nice. Well, I got a little weird. Show your support for the channel and get 50% off your order by going to buyraycon.com slash waterjet. Or just click the link in the description. 
And you can't go wrong with Raycon. They've got a 45 day free return policy. Elliot, I think we both love Raycons. Let's get back in there and check out those, uh, those horse nets. Yes, sir. we learned a few things here. One, um, clay is not very good for long cuts because it just gets waterlogged and loses its strength. And two, same with plywood. You live and you learn. We learned today. Now when I think of this meteorite, I think uh, that, you know, this meteorite was probably once upon a time a moon. And when I think of the moon, the only logical thing is uh, Dogecoin. You know, I thought about trying to realign this and finish cutting that circle, but it had already messed up the O. The G wasn't great looking. The I N there got messed up. And I think it just fits. Because, you know, Dogecoin is uh, unpredictable. It's... You would expect it to be finished and neat looking, but it's not. And that's what makes it so Dogecoin-ish. Are you just talking to yourself or are you recording? <laughs> are you just walking around with a face shield on or are you doing something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing stuff. So based off of your uh, expertise, how much Doge is this worth? Just in like raw material costs and um... my labor. My labor is pretty cheap, but... We're looking at three to four thousand Doge. Really? That's at today's prices. I mean, when this video posts in like three days. If you want this, hit me up. We'll only accept Doge as payment. Man, that thing is hideous. I like it. <laughs>